Now here the problem is, we need to find the value of cosec inverse root 5, cosec inverse root 65, cosec inverse root 325, and it goes all the way up to infinite. Now what we'll do is, we'll change each of this expression in terms of 10 inverse. Now cosec theta is root 5. So this is theta, this is root 5, this is 1, and here this value will be 2. So we'll write this as 10 inverse 1 by 2. Now for the second one, we'll have root 65, this is 1, and it'll be root 64, it'll be 8, so it'll be 10 inverse 1 by 8. Next one, it'll be 325, 1, and it'll be under root of 324, it'll be 10 inverse 1 by 18, and this series will continue up to infinite. Now in this form, we do not see any pattern, so actually I'll try and express it as 2 by 4, 10 inverse, 2 by 16, 10 inverse, 2 by 36, and we'll write this as 1 plus 1 into 3, 10 inverse, 1 plus 3 into 5, 10 inverse, 1 plus 5 into 7, and the series that continues up to infinite. So we can write this series as 10 inverse, 3 minus 1 upon 1 plus 1 into 3, 10 inverse, 5 minus 3 upon 1 plus 3 into 5, 10 inverse, 7 minus 5 upon 1 plus 5 into 7, and so on. So we we'll write this as is. 10 inverse 3 minus 10 inverse 1 plus 10 inverse 5 minus 10 inverse 3 10 inverse 7 minus 10 inverse 5 it goes all the way up to infinite now here 3 will cancel 5 will cancel so in the end loosely speaking we'll get 10 inverse infinite minus 10 inverse 1 which is pi by 2 minus pi by 4 and it is pi by 4 so value of k will be simply 1.